Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armel with the Box Push. I'm here reviewing the spy. Why? Because I got a very interesting email or something today where someone was saying that this is the top of the market. I laughed and laughed and laughed to myself and then thought I have to do a video. And here we are today. Why would anyone say this is the top of the market? I know why. Because people love to pick tops. They love to short top. And why would someone think this is a top? Because we didn't break out over the high. Does it mean we're not going higher? No, absolutely not. Why would someone else also say that we're not higher? Because of the sell-off that we had yesterday. But what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. You remember I've been talking about the fact that we didn't pull back and we weren't going to pull back and we never pulled back and we didn't pull back. These red days were essentially the pullback. But every day they're holding, even yesterday, even the sell-off yesterday did not follow through, did not close at the low, closed tight, making a new support. A support which, by the way, held today, held into the open. Neutral gap today held, held in the open, and we're closing today green. We will close green in the next 45 minutes. This is a whole, people. To me, this signifies strength, not weakness, because we're not pulling back. A pullback is a pull in and then a rally. And this basically just did it in one sell-off day. It said, that's it. We're done. We're going to quick, quick sell-off, and then we're going to hold again, and we're going to rally. So we're either going to rally through and gap up tomorrow, and neutral and rally through tomorrow, which we probably do. Whether we have a small day tomorrow or a big day tomorrow, I don't know. Big econ out Friday. Tomorrow, Thursday. Big econ out Friday. So that could really affect the market. We get over the high again on Friday. But this is absolutely not the top. And many people think this probably, which to me is hilarious because we just made another brand new all-time high. We just made another brand new all-time high. I, I just, am I the only person that looks at charts like this in the world? It, I can't be. I cannot be. Am I? Because I might be. Because I'm starting to think that I am. The fact that the people are putting out there that this is the top of the market is it's hilarious to me. And that tells me that people shorted this. And I can't believe it, but they must have. They probably did, and somebody did with yesterday's bar and the and the failure to get right up on over the high, but it's still higher, okay? We could have broken out. We didn't. We could have pulled in. We did not. This is all signs of strength, strong, strong, strong. We did not, with new, brand-new, all-time money and buying, make a brand-new, all-time high in the market in the last month just to make a top and, pull, and then pull in and switch trends. No, it's not going to happen. We've been waiting all year for this to happen. You think we're not going anywhere after this? You're going higher in a big, huge, massive way. And so I never really thought there might be any shorts in here, but there probably is now after getting some emails today and the sell-off from yesterday. But institutional money will carry the market higher, just like it's been all this period, just like it supported the market all the way down here. And even though it took us a while to get going, the fact that we did it is 100% confirmation that the market is definitely higher. So the place to be is long. And actually, yesterday, you could have gotten in stuff to go long. You could have taken good, strong stock long for the push that the market's going to make over the high. It's not a time to sell. It's a time to be buying. Take the opportunity. you got to buy the right stuff. You can buy the market if you want. The market's higher from now until the end of the calendar year. The number that we blow at, I don't know. It, it's probably above 220 now because we didn't get that far from it, and then we had to sell off debt. We were only less than two and a half bucks from that. But I thought it was very interesting. My prediction is the market makes another brand new all-time high. This is new money. This is a new move. It's a new move. It's just beginning. This is not the top. And that is not a strategy. Shorting tops isn't a strategy. Buying bottoms isn't one either. You've got to have a strategy like the one that I have, which is based on gaps, in order to successfully, continually, consistently trade and make money in the market and be able to predict directional bias. And the reason I was able to do it is because I read all the gaps. I read the bullish gaps in the market in here. I read the bearish gaps from the Brexit in here to determine this wasn't going to break and fall hard. I read these ones, and I have a rating system that does it. And today, this gap today was bullish. You could have gone long in the market today. You could have. And in fact, I think I wrote in the room. So we'll see where we open tomorrow. Probably up. I wonder where we could actually... Well, let's just see. We'll see where we go. The big, the big morning is Friday. Have a great day, everyone. Email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like a trial of the live trading room. The next class is August 13th and 14th. Have a great night, everyone.